You've got more questions? We've got more answers. It's time for another round of Ask the Experts on today's WD Creator Series. Hello everyone and welcome to the WD Creator Series. I'm Curtis Kingsley and we're back with another round of Q&A for our resident tech expert, Leonard Brewer. Now unfortunately, Leonard couldn't be with us in the studio today. He's out making the world a better place through data storage, so he's here remotely. Hey Leonard. Hey Curtis. All right Leonard, our first question comes from Alexander in Munich, Germany, and he asks, can I put different capacity drives in my NAS system? It depends on the type of RAID level that you have. If you're using a JBOD or a SPAN, usually you can mix different capacity drives because uh, it's going to add them together or treat them as separate drives. If you're doing something like a RAID 0, RAID 1, or a RAID 5, because of the redundancy or other types of things that it has with the calculations, you want to have the same capacity drives, the same RPM, same type if you can. Um, if you use different capacities, let's say you have three one terabyte drives and a 500 gig, it'll actually lower those one terabytes to 500, so everything's identical, and you'll lose that space. For different RPMs, you'll have one drive going faster than the other, it could cause sync issues, it can just cause some problems. So it's usually best to try and keep the drives as identical as you can to each other. All right. I hope I was paying attention, because I'm not ready for the quiz later. All right, Ben in Vancouver, Canada wants to know, how do I password protect a My Passport drive? That's a good question. Um, both My Passport and My Book can be password protected using the WD security software. It's available for free as a download from our site. Just plug the drive in, run the software, put in your password and lock the drive. If it has a password already, you can change the password and you can even remove the password. All right, Luke from Kemp, Texas has a pretty relatable problem. Luke says, I spilled coffee on my hard drive and it stopped working. What should I do? Oh, that's not good. Um, it depends on the amount of liquid. If it's just a minor spill, um, I would turn it off for sure, wipe it down if you can, make sure it didn't get inside the drive if possible, if it's in an enclosure. Um, if it was a lot of liquid, if it was immersed, of course, unplug it. If there's a battery, try and remove it. Um, and then if it's really important information, I would for sure contact a professional data recovery. Um, you don't want to mess with that type of stuff, especially with liquids and electronics. Yeah, that happens to people all the time. Some of us more than others. All right, thanks, Leonard. Anytime, Curtis. And thank you for all your questions. Keep them coming. All right, everybody, that's it for this episode. You'll find everything you need to know about these products and more at WD.com. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the WD Creator Series.